This is Christine Sommer of MassapequaNews.com. For the news week ending July 31st, 2006, the following synopsis and commentary is brought to you by Kings Avenue Tattoo. Take a look. I don't know what that is, so I'm going to say yes. This week, political news coincides dramatically with community news. The Saturday evening Starship concert at John Burns Park, as published on the events page, as always, is a great opportunity to meet our elected officials. Boring. We caught up with Councilwoman Rose Walker, who is just about as nice as nice can be. Uh-huh, uh-huh, okay. Town of Oyster Bay Supervisor John Venditto, and you already know that I think he's the goods. Uh-huh, uh-huh, okay. Assemblyman Joseph Saladino, always easy on the lens, a sponsor of the event, and a proponent of women's health. Did you get this in the mail? I'm liking him. Uh-huh, uh-huh, okay. And last but not least, Senator and the beautiful Mrs. Charles Fuscillo, continued sponsor of Music Under the Stars. I'm holding Senator Fuscillo in as high regard as Supervisor Venditto. <laughs> We miss Senator Campanen, but he did sign on for the MassapequaNews.com newsletter, and I'm thinking that's just swell. <coughs> Between setting up his community office at the Plain Edge Library and tuning into this site, I'm thinking he rocks. No, oh, Peggy, I'm oh, cool. I say these good things about our community leaders because they're true. Anywho. Take a look at the photojournalist coverage on the events page. Not only of this event, but the Luke Fest, the Living Hope Fellowship Vacation Bible School graduation, and Summer Cruise Night. Check in at the message board on the MassPeakNews.com homepage for details on the following upcoming events. The Salute to America concert and fireworks with Lee Greenwood, the 7th Precinct's National Night Out, the Board of Fire Commissioners testing of audible fire alarm systems beginning on August 5th and continuing each Saturday at 12 noon. The singles events, the Mets appearing in Massapequa, family fishing fun, and the rock and roll memorabilia show at LI Picture Frame where you may just pick up a gymism like stimulately. In criminal news, this week, two young ladies from Lindenhurst were arrested and charged with DWI. Mm, beer. The one good thing I will say about this is, thank God they didn't go off on a drunken anti-Semitic tirade. Working in pairs this week, two grown women from Queens were arrested and charged with petty larceny. Caught stealing from Stop and Shop. Mm. Organized crime. How do you do that? Slip a chicken under your blouse and hope the neighborhood dogs don't tail you? Mmm, chicken. <laughs> a Brewster Road female, age 51, was arrested and charged with criminal mischief. If you haven't perfected or at least sharpened your criminal mischief skills by, let's say, age 40, it's time to move on. Ladies, what are we doing here? You want the truth? You want the truth? You can handle the truth! Avis Rent-A-Car is missing a 2006 Pontiac G6. Apparently one of its customers rented the car and never returned it. Are Pontiacs in that great of demand? Apparently. A 13-year-old boy was the victim of pushing and kicking by five teenagers at Burner Middle School. Thankfully, the victim sustained no injuries. So let me ask you this. What kind of sorry-ass bullies are you that it took five of you and you didn't even do any real damage? I think I know the answer. A suspicious fire was reported at the North Carolina Furniture and Carpet Warehouse trailer that destroyed the entire contents. Rick Williams, a 39-year-old North Carolina resident, nearly set himself on fire attempting to extinguish the flames. I'll let you in on a little secret. The Massapequa Fire Department will put it out for you. 
Just call them. Hello, operator, give me the number for 911. Speaking of arson, the arson barbershop owner on Broadway reported damage to its front sign and light fixture. Who names a barbershop arson? And do you now change it to the Vandal Barbershop? Massapequa. It's a brutal 99 degrees. And I'm sorry to say that you won't be seeing the MassapequaNews.com mascot, my, Tigany, my kitty, Antigone, sneaking around the newsroom. Seeking relief from the heat, Antigone is laying around all lethargic, looking like she's taking the big old dirt nap. You cats stay cool and be well. I'll see you here next week.